While they don't have head-to-head -head competitions, the success of the O'Connell Drama Department is something the Buccaneers hang their hat on. We just all take pride, work together to make it a really good department. And uh, sometimes we try to rival that of public schools in the area. This is a way for just everyone to get together, have fun, put on productions, and everyone here seems to enjoy it and wants to be a part of it. When Tyler says everyone, he's not that far off. Approximately 25% of the student body is in the drama department. Most members of the crew are involved with other activities. So often the first time the cast is completely together is the day of the performance. Let's, start. Let's bring the lights down. The challenge of putting on a play with all the difficulties we run into sometimes and the unique challenges we face. Uh, bring out my competitive side. I love to see if we can push it through. And yet, you know, right before the plays go on, every time I'm panicking, thinking, oh my goodness, it's, we're not gonna be able to pull this off. We're not gonna be able to pull this off. And every time, you know, we bring it. And it, uh, it always ends up pretty good, always spectacular. The spectacle has been taking place since the drama department began in the late 60s. Current director Scotty McKinley took over for program founder and longtime director Patricia Telchik. I'm fortunate to have these kids to work with because they're the ones who really do it. I just kind of stand out here and, you know, push them in each kind of direction, but yeah, I'm blessed. It's really a good chance for me to kind of step out of my comfort zone and do something I don't usually do. What's also unusual is seeing a small school put out such big time productions. The Galveston O'Connell Drama Department, this week's Chevy Spotlight.